Hello, good morning to everyone. A very warm welcome to today's 1.1 Ness meditation session. My name is Matthew. I'm a member of the team here at One Point Consulting. And for those of you who are here for the first time, uh, especially a warm welcome. Just a bit of background. We started these uh, sessions back in April, I think March, April. And um, the idea came because a lot of us at one point have a daily practice of meditation. And especially with the challenging times everyone's facing these days, the idea came that it would be nice to share insights and practical tips on meditation so that more and more people can benefit from what these days some people would consider an essential practice in order, in order to maintain and build peace of mind, to stay contented and just to be able to face all the challenges that come to us. Um, very, very happy today to have joining us uh, Enrique Simo. Uh, Enrique is based in, in Spain. Hi, Enrique, warm welcome. Good morning, hello. Good morning. And just a bit of uh, background on Enrique. Um, he is a certified executive coach. He works um, as an organizational consultant trainer and is a recognized speaker and writer in the fields of human resources and corporate development. Enrique lectures at the Francisco de Vitoria, I hope I pronounce that right, University of Madrid, on mindful leadership and self-development. He's also trained in appreciative inquiry by David Cooper Ryder of the Dow Institute in the USA. Yeah, Enrique has been practicing Raj Yoga meditation for many years. I won't say how many, <laughs> he's very experienced and helps various organizations and charities in promoting programs for inner peace development, values and spirituality. He's traveled throughout Spain and abroad giving lectures and courses in meditation, positive thinking, spiritual intelligence and self-leadership skills. And today Enrique is going to be talking on the subject of learning self-compassion. So Enrique, Thank I'll you. Back to you. Looking forward to the, the session. <laughs> thank you so much, Matthew. And thank you for inviting me and have the opportunity to, to share a little bit of my experience in this long journey of uh, meditation. For me, meditation, in fact, is, is a journey to know yourself better. And my experience this last month, no, in this uh, special situation that we are living, is that, uh, in fact, the more restrictions that are outside, the more opportunity to have, you have to go inside and to know yourself better. And I know many people that uh, during these months, they have uh, get this opportunity and they have changed many things in their lives. And I know other people who have been or still are worried about the situation and are feeling stress and, and a lot of anxiety. So finally, depends on how you take things and how you perceive things. And this is also about meditation and self-compassion is connected with that. So as I said, um, meditation for me is this uh, capacity of going inside and observe your inner world, your thoughts, your feelings, and, and start to know yourself, understand yourself, and realize that inside ourselves, there is, a, there is a constant inner dialogue. There are several voices. Sometimes there are many voices. I have detected in myself so many voices. No? And these voices are influencing you. And these voices are creating like a story. And this story is based on, on beliefs, from your family, from your friends, from your country, from the experiences in your life, from the films that you have seen, from publicity, from the news. So we, we create a story of our life and we believe this story and this story becomes a reality. And this is the way that we interact with the world. And we think that is reality, but in fact, it's not reality. It's the perception that we have and the interpretation that we are doing about reality. So finally, you can see that thoughts that create this inner dialogue, dialogue are creating the experience in your life. So in fact, thoughts are shaping your destiny. And thoughts generally take the form of a dialogue. And what's happened with this dialogue? Usually, and I have a lot of experience in myself, of course, 
but I have changed this data, internal data. But I talk to many people, especially doing coaching, people who are very smart, they get very good results. They have a good life in a material sense. But when I ask questions and I inquiry a little bit with them, they realize that they have this inner dialogue, not very positive. Sometimes it's a critic. Sometimes it can take the form of a judge. Sometimes of a victim, blaming people, complaining about things. So there are different ways of dialogue inside ourselves. And this is why there is a need for a new dialogue. A dialogue more loving, more caring, a more kind dialogue with yourself a self-compassion dialogue. In a way, it's like to becoming your best friend because finally, we are always with us, with me. I'm always with me. I cannot be all the time with any, anybody, but only with me. So it's better if I become my best friend and know my best enemy. And sometimes these inner dialogues is like other people talking to me and they become so so um, they create so much tension that even people cannot sleep and cannot live a, a life that it's worth to live. And uh, it's better to learn how to have a new kind of dialogue co connected with compassion. So what is compassion? It's the attitude of wishing peace and happiness and the freedom of suffering to all human beings and all creatures in the world. And not only having the feeling, but also the intention to do something about it. Uh, it's not a feeling of pity, which is a passive feeling. Compassion is an active feeling. And self-compassion is to have this kind of feelings towards yourself. So in order to have a more fulfilling life, we need to change our thoughts. And this means we need to change our inner dialogue. And if you do this effort, and it takes effort, because the other dialogues are, are, are like a habit, are very natural in, our, in ourselves. But this new habit of being self-compassionate and being more kind, more caring, is not a habit. So you have to create this, you have to repeat, you have to make an effort. But you will be surprised when you start to do this, the impact of, uh, of this new dialogue in your life. What makes us feel bad most of the time is the past, or sometimes the worries about the future. But most of the people are living in the past, in the present. So they bring the past to the present and they blame the past for many things that happen in, in their lives. So self-compassion, and especially meditation, is the art of being present, living the present, and create this, this world of new possibilities and to connect with your higher self and of course, if you want with the divine, but especially to yourself and have the capacity to leave the past aside, to leave the past in the past and to create moment by moment, a new present. And this creates a new future. And if you start to be friend of yourself and if you start to be uh, caring and kind to yourself, you will enjoy life because these voices will help you to create a very good present and this present will create a very good future. I've made this change, it took me years, of course, still are these voices there and I, and I appreciate them because they are making me um, more alert of what I have to do. But I created another dialogue of being a friend of myself. And when I make a mistake, that all of us make mistakes, even though we meditate, but we are not perfect. I have a voice which is a, a good friend and is giving me support. This voice is giving me um, uh, help. This voice is giving me good advice. This voice is reminding me the good things that I have done or the good things that I have inside myself or, or the good ideas that many times I have had and allows me to leave the past in the past, to learn from it, and to be more self-compassionate with myself. And when I am self-compassionate with myself, I can be compassionate with others. It's very difficult to be compassionate with others and accept others as they are if you don't do this work with yourself. 
So, as you may know, and meditation is the basis of that, anything that you want to see outside yourself, any change or anything that you want to do with other people outside yourself starts in yourself. And also I believe very strongly that if we change, the world can change. So I'm practicing meditation not only for myself, but I see that so many people now need a little bit of peace, stability, stillness, um, security, and they don't know what to do. So I meditate for myself, of course, but also to have some kind of energy to share with other people as a gift to others. And in this way, help them also to connect with themselves and all together, trying to make the world a little bit better every day with our personal change. So this is a little bit the context. So let's have a meditation and <clears throat> let's practice this um, uh, self-compassion attitude and see how can be the experience. Very good. So I invite you to take a, a deep breath first. And prepare yourself for this exercise. When we breathe deeply, and especially when we let uh, the air going out very slowly, very slowly, very slowly, a large exhale, we are sending our brain immediately a message that is saying, everything is okay. There is no danger. You are protected. And then you start to feel more relaxed. So just breathe deeply and observe the impact of that. So leave your back as upright as possible. And you can leave your feet well supported on the floor and your hands resting comfortably. And find this position of equilibrium and stability. And you can close your eyes if you prefer, or the eyes almost closed, half closed, and concentrated in a point of reference, but don't get distracted by anything around you. And now, simply observe your breathing. Be aware of the smooth and constant rhythm of your own breathing. Observe the feeling of expansion as you breathe in and the feeling of relaxation as you breathe out. Very good. And now regulate your breathing, breathe naturally. Let it occur without any effort. And that slowly, slowly becomes automatic. Very good. And now go inside yourself. Bring your attention inside and observe your thoughts. Observe your mind. You can imagine as a metaphor that your mind is like a blue, beautiful, clear sky and thoughts are like clouds. They appear in the screen of your mind and they disappear. Clouds, they come and always, always they, they go. So allow your thoughts to become like clouds and let them go. And just remain there for a moment, observing observing the clouds of your thoughts and let them go and clean the sky of your mind. Very good. And allow yourself to be more and more relaxed and at ease with yourself and also with the world for a few minutes, 
leave the world outside. And take these moments only for yourself. Allow yourself not only to be relaxed, but to be at peace in your mind, in your heart, in your soul, with yourself, with your circumstances, with the world. This time is for you. And here is where it's, it begins, the self-compassion attitude, to give yourself a gift, the gift of this time, the gift of your good wishes, the gift of these pure thoughts about yourself. Give yourself permission to be carefree. Give yourself permission to forget everything just for a few minutes. Take care of yourself. Be there. Now, I invite you to have this caring and loving vision towards yourself. And you can create some thoughts, like a dialogue with yourself, and accept it. Like, I am a loving person. I have love in my heart. There is goodness in my heart. There is peace in my head. There is power inside myself. Connect with the beauty that you are. Connect with your best self. I am peace, I am love, I am powerful. Allow yourself to believe in that just for a few minutes. Don't allow all the thoughts to come into your mind. If the inner critic or inner judge tries to come into your head, tell this voice gently that you will Talk to them later, but not now. Now you are busy with another person, with a new relationship. That is a relationship with your compassionate voice. And now allow the past become the past. No matter what has happened in your life, it is already the past. It doesn't exist. It is only in your mind. It only exists in your mind. So be compassionate with yourself and forget the past. Let go of anything from the past. Liberate yourself from the past and connect with the present moment, just here and now. The now, the present, is the moment of possibilities. It's the only moment of creation and creativity. It's the only moment where you can create your own thoughts. You can create your own feelings. So now, create these beautiful thoughts that create beautiful feelings for yourself. I am a loving person. I am a peaceful person. I'm powerful. I have love in my heart. There is goodness in my heart. 
that is peace in my mind. Allow these thoughts to become a reality in this moment, right now. Love in my heart, peace in my mind, power in my soul. Feel it, love in my heart. Peace, my mind. Power in my soul. Be there with these thoughts, these thoughts for a moment. And enjoy the experience. Allow yourself to be merged in these thoughts. Connect with your best version of yourself. Connect with your highest self. Be there, be present, be connected with your spiritual identity. with whom you truly, really are, a conscious being, the creator of your thoughts, the creator of your destiny, the creator of your dialogue. Feel it. You are a powerful being. You are not weak. This is just your imagination, your limitations. Inside yourself, you are very strong, very powerful. Connect with your inner power and leave the past, the experiences of the past. Leave the concept that you have of yourself, the past concept and start to create a new vision of yourself. You deserve it. Yes, you deserve it. Because you are complete. Accept as you are. Connect with your inner beauty. With your inner power. Feel it. Merge in it and see how silence is creating space inside yourself and all the voices are becoming silent and just your inner light becomes to shine, starts to shine. Your inner self begins to shine. You are at peace with yourself. You are at peace with the world around you. You are at peace with your past. You have become a compassionate being. And you have begun a new relationship with yourself, a compassionate, compassionate one, full of love, kindness, and caring. You are a compassionate being.
just be there, feeling the impact of these thoughts in your being. And now, in this state of being, I invite you to connect with the eternal source of compassion, with the source of universal love. And connect with this source of compassion and absorb this energy and bring it to your, into your heart and bring it into your mind and bring it into your soul. Absorb this beautiful energy from the eternal source of compassion. And dissolve your past and bring your light to your life. And now, Slowly, slowly, you can start to connect again with your body, with a place where you are. Breathe deeply and slowly, slowly come back. But don't leave this feeling of compassion inside yourself. Don't leave this inner dialogue. Sustain this dialogue during all the day as much as possible. And you will see the impact in your life and also in the life of the people who, who are around you. You are a self-compassionate being and enjoy the experience. And when you want, you can come back. Om Shanti. Ah, Enrique, <laughs> thank you so much. That was such a beautiful meditation. And what you were saying before about being our own best friend. And um, I was really feeling how you've, you've done that work for yourself because of the lightness and the, the gentleness came across in the meditation of how, how, you, how you talk to yourself. Thank you. And that was really, really beautiful. Yeah, love in the heart, peace in the mind, power in the soul. Yeah, great. So good. And I know you said um, you've been working on it for a, a long time. Yeah. And uh, um, is it you, in your experience, uh, casting your mind back also to starting out, um, I guess there were times when you were trying to uh, put into practice these dialogues um, but it can take a bit of time for them to to gain power. Mm. Is there any? Did, did you find there was any particular methods, for instance, how many times you were you were trying this in the day to establish these these new patterns of talking to the self? Was it more doing it a few times in a day, or or doing longer periods less frequently, or a mixture? How how was that well, for you? For me. One thing that has helped me a lot is to write, to write about this, ah. so to, to write about myself, but not, it's like speaking to myself. It's not just writing data or information or things that happen. No, it's to write to myself as someone is talking to me, no? Hello, Enrique, how are you? No? <laughs> like this. Oh, today I'm very, very sad because this happened. Oh, don't worry. You know that things are happening. So. You, I've created this, like, like if you are a, an actor and you create a script of your play, you know, that you have to play, 
and you write the dialogue, and then you rehearse. And the more you write, the more you write, and the more you, you create this, this uh, conversation, because in fact, finally it's a conversation with yourself, then you start to create this, and it becomes real. This other Enrique becomes real. And when you feel bad, you take your notebook and write, and this other Enrique tells you good things, reminds you about good points of wisdom or ideas or good things. And then you feel much more released. No? Journaling is very powerful thing to do. Yeah, yeah, I agree. That, that's a really, really useful insight. Really useful. So thank you for that. Great. Oh, mm -hmm. we carry on, but I see time as, uh, time as, as, it, as it usually does. Yes. So uh, thank you, Enrique, for being with us today. Real pleasure. Thank you so thank much. Thank you so much for inviting me. Have a You're good very day. welcome. Thank you. Bye. And bye-bye. Thank you to everyone else for joining us today, uh, wherever you are. And um, as you may know, all the recordings of, of this session and all the previous sessions are available on the YouTube channel. There's also information on there on how to visit or the link to visit the 1.1ness page. So you can find out about uh, future events. And um, if you'd like to give us any feedback, it's always very welcome. There's a feedback link there as well. And please feel free to, to share um, this link, uh, these sessions with your, your colleagues, your friends and family. I, I, I really believe that everybody can benefit from uh, listening to these um, dialogues about meditation and, and certainly uh, from the meditation guided commentaries as well. So please do share that and wishing you all a great day and a lovely week and we'll see you again soon.